Hello everyone, this is Marcy. Thank you for joining me on this other tutorial on doing a stencil and also a combination of the mandala dot paintings. Uh, today I'm going to be working on an MDF hardboard. It is uh, already prepped. I have done it with a matte based acrylic black paint and I've already found my center and I usually drill a hole and this is how I make my um, circles. Uh, quickly I've used the the ruler that I've come up with as far as the dots are uh, there's holes on every quarter of an inch on the ruler um, and it comes with this acrylic piece so you basically would insert this here drop your la drop your ruler down onto it and then from there you can create these quarter inch lines circles all the way through mm -hmm. and it helps just keep everything uniformed okay so uh, what we're going to do now is i'm going to actually use this acrylic piece i'm going to take this stencil that I found, which I think is really beautiful. It reminds me of like a lotus flower. I found the center of this thing. Uh, this was about 11 inches in every direction. So five and a half. I'm going to insert it in there and then I'm going to insert that into the center of my mandala circle. From here, I'm going to probably eyeball these points up with the lines on. So over here, there's a line going across. There's a line coming down the center as well. That helps me stay uniformed, keeps me centered. So that's what we're going to do right now. If they're not completely aligned, that's okay. That could happen anyway because of the actual stencil you're using could not be proportioned right. So from there, we're just going to quickly sketch out this stencil. Okay, so we're finished with that. We're gonna take out this, set it aside, and we're gonna lift this up and see how it looks. Oh, that looks beautiful. Perfectly aligned. It looks great. It actually lines up well with this one circle. You're gonna have a nice gap there. We'll um, leave this maybe blank or we'll do a color in there. And um, this is gonna look really beautiful. And then from there, we're gonna taper out with some dotting. So, uh, Let's get started. Let's figure out what colors. If you like these as well, if you want to do this project, I will, um, I will uh, put the link in the description so that you can purchase them. I think I got them on Etsy uh, for, for fairly cheap. Okay, so now that we've gotten our stencil put on, 
we're going to start filling in some of these. Now, some of them I might fill in some colors, the whole block, or I might just line the outer perimeters here like this with some dots. Uh, the colors I think I'm going to use with this are neutral colors again. I'm going to use khaki and territorial beige for my two browns. I'm going to use a yellow or orchard um, or like a mustard yellow color. The metallic bronze. I'm going to use some red tones. So I'm going to do metallic copper. I'm going to do barn red and then for the lighter tones I think I'm going to stick again with metallic pearl and sunkissed peach so I think these are going to be my colors I'm going to stick with hopefully they work out we'll see right I have not done this before so this is my first time doing this design so we'll do this together I think what we're going to do is start with these outer perimeters. So I'm going to start with these V's here. And we're going to start with the number six tool, dotting tool. And I think these outer ones we're going to do, we're going to do Sunkiss Peach. Again, we're going to do number six dotting. And we're just going to do one dot at the end of each V, just like that. And I'm gonna I'm gonna start turning this as I go. Okay. Next one is gonna be the number five. So we're just gonna turn it around to the other side, and we're gonna do two on either side. Now we're going to grab our number four and then also do number three. So we'll do one dot of four, turn it around and do three. Okay, now with the same dotting tool, we're going to do these inner V's as well. Okay, um, we're going to do, uh, I think, the first one and then we'll change the color in the next one. So we're going to start, we're going to keep the four and the threes. Okay, so we're going to do four in the center like so. Only on the first one, not the second one. Okay, just this first one. So we want to place one dot. Okay, good. Now we're going to get our, you can either do a choice of the number two and number one for this one, or we could do our yellow stylist dotting, which is equal to number two. I'm going to go with my stylus again. Nice amount of paint. And with this one, we're going to taper off these smaller ones. We're going to try to do these two as well. Okay, good. So 
Now that we've did these outer perimeters, we have a nice base of what the flower is going to look like. I like to start here and maybe go back to it and work around it this way. I get an idea of how it looks. I think this looks good so far. Uh, I think the next color we're going to work on these smaller ones on the inside. When you're doing your dots as well, when you're tapering off, um, just try to stay within that line. So now that you have a nice base to it, you can actually keep those lines centered within the stencil that you drew out. So it helps keep it very straight, which is good. I, I think I like stencils. Maybe I'm not using them the way I'm supposed to. I don't know, but that's okay, right? <laughs> Um, so this next one, I think we're going to do, we're going to do another darker color. So we're going to do the, uh, metallic copper. I think we need to have a little bit of a color pop here now that we've had this like white color border. So these smaller ones, these smaller V's, we're going to do the same thing. So we're going to do our number three and number four. All right. Again. We're going to do four and then two threes on either side and then taper off with number two. Okay, so number four. Now number two, right? So number two or yellow. So I think what we're going to do is fill these ones in. Let's see how it looks. So I'm going to use my stylist. You can use any kind of thing. If you've, even if you want to maybe use a paintbrush, I would just recommend using something small and thin. Um, so what we're going to do is we're going to get enough on our paint on our, so we're going to get a nice coating like that. I don't know if you can see that. It's hard to, and we're just going to dab down the center and then start pushing and pulling it so that it fills in the actual area. This reminds me of doing the dot ones where you pull. It like, looks like a teardrop. I don't know what they're called. I'm sorry, I don't know terminology if there is any to these things. I'll definitely start uh, doing my research on what, if there are names for these certain styles. I, I know some people call them swishies, I think. I call them teardrops because they look like it. This we're just filling in. So see, so we're filling in the center part of this area and the center part of this area. And we're just going to do that all the way around. Okay, good. So now we've got our territorial beige on all points. And we're going to start tapering off with a different color. I think we're going to do maybe yellow and khaki, thinking, together. Um, <clears throat> okay, we're going to do yellow okra.
yellow okra we're going to do, I think we're going to do on um, either side. So this one and this one, this one, this one. And I think we're going to continue to fill in the colors. We're not going to dot these. We're going to fill these in. And again, we're just going to go around and do either side. I think here too, or maybe we'll just do these right now. Yeah, I'm just going to do these. Okay. Okay, now we finished our yellow okra and we did the outer two from the center diamond all the way around. We're not going to do this one just yet. Um, if you notice, there are ones on either side of that and here too. And then you have one, two, and three. Right now we're going to focus on these three on either side. So what we're going to do is the next ones right after the yellow we're going to do our metallic bronze right here. We're going to fill those in and then the next one we're going to do is metallic copper again which is similar to this right there and then the last one, the little tiny one, we're going to do our barn red. Once again this one's a little bit larger in scale as far as the, the width goes, so I'm going to use number two on this one. So our bronze color is finished. We did every color next to the yellow. Now we're going to move on and we're going to use our metallic copper. And we're going to put that one next to the bronze. Okay. Okay. So once again, we're going to do every uh, marking after the bronze. So on this side and this side. All right, so we just finished our copper, metallic copper, and now we have our last small little triangle shape. We're going to use the uh, barn red for this color. Okay, we're going to use, I'm going to use my smaller stylus tool. It's the smallest one I have, only because it is a smallest area, and you want to be a little precise with those triangles. Okay, so here we go. Okay, perfect. So this is starting to look really well. Uh, we have a nice array of uh, a rainbow toned color almost here. Uh, very uh, autumn vibes going on with this one, which is really nice. It's really beautiful. I think uh, the next one we're going to focus on are these two colors on either side of the of the the uh, territorial beige, and then we're going to do this colors too. I think uh, let's see the colors we didn't do yet is maybe we'll do a metallic pearl on either side to brighten it up a bit, and then uh, maybe we'll go back to could just do brown again as well. Let's do this first and see how it looks.
Okay, so we finished the pearl white. It's a nice color. It makes it pop a bit. Uh, I think what we're going to do, we're going to go back to yellow okra. We're going to follow the same pattern. This time we'll just do it on the outside of the white, okay? And then uh, we'll be done with that row. And then we can focus on doing these um, arrow shaped. And we'll do dots with those again. Okay, so now that we've finished our outer layer here, we're gonna start working with our triangles once again. This time we're gonna do these, tri these three triangles, we're going to do the same color. We're gonna stick with that cream that we did the outer layer. So we're gonna work going in like that. Um, I think we're gonna start again with a number six, then go to a number five for this bottom one. I think we might do that to all of them. We'll see how it turns out. For now we're going to start at the bottom, okay? Like that, six. We'll do six on here and all the way around and then turn it around and we'll do five on either side. Just like before. Okay, again, we're going to start with number six for the next row. Once again, like that. Try to line up these two dots here so that they're aligned. We're going to do the last one too, like that. So it'll be one, two, and three. Okay. Now we're going to use the number four and probably number three as well. You're going to notice as these are smaller, so we're going to probably want to just do a four or three and maybe one dot for two, and that's it. We're not going to have small tapered off. These will be tapered off, but that's okay. So we're going to start with four on either side once again like so. Now we're going to do three. And now for the last thing, we're going to use the number two stylus tool. You can do number two, or you can do this one. We're going to place these dots, one at the top, one in the center, and taper off with this one. Okay, make sure you dot, dip your dotting tool every single time you do this except for the tapering off. Okay, so now that we're finished with doing our cream-based dots here, we're going to move on to this center piece here. This half circle we're going to fill in with the color khaki. Okay, 
we haven't really used this color yet. So we're going to do khaki here, and then we're going to do single dots with the number two all along here, okay? Okay, good, perfect. Um, now we're going to clean off our brush. I think this top portion we're also going to do the khaki color just to mimic the same design here. Um, I think for the next one we're going to do these as well. We're going to do dots. We're going to do one size up. So we're going to either do the size 3 in here or the blue. I'm just going to use this size. And we're going to do the barn red. Okay, so we're going to do the number three. And each little tick that you see there, we're just going to dot. They're going to be very close, so be very careful. Make sure you stay within that line so that you're not going off over to this direction or going up. Imagine that there's a, a line, like a rainbow, going up and across. Okay, we're also going to use the barn red. And we're going to do these small triangles here. Okay, so just keep this out. Get a small stylist dotting tool. And just a small amount paint on them and then you want to dot the center and drag out to each corner that's how you make your triangle this one's a little tricky because it's super small now I think uh, we're gonna fill in these little oval they look like little windows almost I'm going to fill them in with the copper red. Okay. All right, and now with our number one, I'd say our number one, the smallest one you have, or your smallest stylus, this is the white one. We're going to do tiny little dots we're going to find follow the curvature okay let's remember to dot every time we do one dot let's dip back in the paint so that your dots are very uniform okay like that that's done Clean off our stylus tool. Um, <clears throat> okay, I think from now, from here, we're going to notice that we have one large window shape here. We have one here and we have one here. Let's keep all those uniformed in the same color. So we're going to do that the metallic white, the pearl white again, okay? The idea is to just start in the center when you glob your paint on and push it out towards the edges. Don't ever start at the edge because then it could go over the line and then you have a big mess to clean up. <clears throat> Good, so there's our metallic pearl. Okay, that looks beautiful, the pearl white. Looks like a little jewel almost. We're going to do brown next. Now I think because the next one actually has, uh, it's like an outline of something, it's not a solid shape, 
we're going to dot this one. I think so. I think we're going to dot this one. And then the next will actually do colors. So we're going to get our number three dot, number three. We're going to start the top here and just follow this curve down. Keep the spacing nice and uniformed so that they're not right on top of each other. Okay, just like that. Now we're going to fill in this portion and this portion. Same with these. So I think this color we're going to do yellow, yellow okra. And then maybe we'll do cream. Okay. Okay, we're gonna take the number two stylist again. And we're just gonna fill in this second half oval shape. Okay, so now that we finished our yellow or or okra, sorry, we're going to use cream, the sun-kissed peach color. And we're gonna fill in the last half circle here. We're gonna do that one, that one, and that one, and this little sliver here. Good, okay. This shape's a little tricky, so it comes up and it curves around like this, debating on if I wanna dot it or if I wanna fill it in. I think we're gonna fill this in and dot this one, okay? This one over here, we're going to actually dot that one. And we're going to do smallest stylus number one start at the thicker part at the top taper off like that Watch the peach away. Now we're going to do, we're gonna do bronze, metallic bronze. And with the bronze color, we're gonna fill in this big area right here. Okay, now that we've finished the uh, bronze, the metallic bronze right here, we're gonna move back up here and we're gonna do this shape up here as well, but we're going to do that in the metallic copper color, okay? Because we've got some nice browns and creams here, but we have no reds in this area. So we're gonna just keep building off of the colors that are surrounding the areas and go from there. So we're gonna do metallic copper and again just fill in the areas we're going to dot this one and we're going to do uh, I think we're going to do the stylus number one again because we are working with a smaller, tighter scale here. And if we do something too big, as we taper off, it might get really, just not looks good. I like when they're teeny tiny like that and they, they taper off. So 
we're going to do, let's see what color can we do. I think we're going to do the, the barn red. Let's see how that looks. And I'm going to dot the center. Make that one the biggest dot if you can. And then I'm just going to dip every single time. This paint might be a little bit thicker than I'd like it to be, but we're going to keep going. When I get to about halfway, well, I'm about halfway now, so now I'm going to taper off with my dots and make them as small as I can down like that. It's a little hard to see the red. I think uh, it'll still look beautiful, but sometimes when I do taper uh, dots, I, I like to do brighter colors too. I've noticed that it, it shows up better than darker colors, especially if you have a darker background. But we'll still make do with this one. Perfect. Let's fix these a little bit. I'm going to quickly dot. Okay. I think next we're going to go back with our khaki. The khaki color, I'm going to fill in this large area right here on either side and do those two khaki color. Okay. I'm gonna use my number two stylist. Okay, so we finished our khaki right here on either side. We're going to move back into our cream sunkissed peach color. I'm using a number two stylist. And we're just going to get these two lines. They look like little eyebrows almost. And we're just going to dot this. No tapering. Just going to do dot by dot all the way to the end. Okay, with the same cream color, we're going to fill in this big area right here on either side. I'm going to use my number two stylus again for this. Now that we've finished doing the cream color here, we're going to use our metallic bronze again. And we're going to fill in these little shapes, these diamond shapes here, the dots, and these little guys right here as well. Um, these kind of look like eyeballs almost, like a cutout. Number one styling tool. And then we're also going to do these dots over here. So we're going to do this one. Because it is the same shape. So I'm trying to keep the same shapes with the same colors. And also over here. Alright, so now we have just this tiny little bit left. Alright, so we're going to have a line here which we're going to dot. We're going to fill this in. This dotting, I think we're going to do a red tone. So we're going to go back with our barn red again.
number two stylist. Now to fill in the color after the red, this one, let's do, let's do yellow. We haven't done yellow in a while. So we'll do some yellow. Okay, I got my yellow. I'm going to use my yellow stylus to number two. And we're just going to fill in this large area. Now, we're going to do this line as well, the straight one. We're going to do yellow as well only because we're, we're keeping that distance of the yellow. So we're gonna do yellow here as well. Our next color is gonna be the pearl white, metallic pearl. All right, so I'm gonna work with my smallest stylist and I think what we're gonna do is uh, we're gonna do these three diamonds. So that one, the center one, and that one we're gonna do on either side with the white. Good. Um, we're getting into some really tiny, tiny areas now. So it's, it's, we're just kind of flip flopping back and forth throughout our uh, color scheme here. That's all. Okay. So I think our next color we're going to do is the territorial beige. And we're going to use our number one stylus again, the smallest one. And we're gonna just do these lines. We're gonna dot them, okay? And I think we're gonna taper off. So start at the base, do your regular size dots. The center one, we're gonna keep all the same, I believe. Yeah, we're gonna keep them all the same, going all the way up, okay? And the same going back down on this side. And do the same thing on this side as well, okay? As for the, the end ones here, I'm gonna go about up to the middle and then start, then taper off. Okay, same thing with this side. Go up to the center and then taper off. Now we've got some really small ones in here, okay? These little diamonds, I think we're going to do, oh, what should we do them? Um, we're going to do the, the bronze, okay? We're also going to do the bronze on this last line here next to the yellow okra. Okay, so we've got our bronze. Now we're going to do our copper red, copper, metallic copper. And we're just going to fill in these dots. These are so tiny. We're just going to dot them. Okay. 
I'm just staying with the number one from, from now on because they're so small. Uh, now we're going to do barn red. Barn red, we're going to fill in this diamond shape. And this little cutout, and this little cutout, and this little cutout. Good. We're going to go to khaki. And fill in this one, this triangle. And then I think we're going to do the, the peach again, the cream color. And we're going to do the last diamond over here at the end here. And then we're also going to do the circle part at the top of this V. Okay. And then we have two more colors, two more shapes to do. I think we're going to do our white. And our white's going to be the first triangle here. I think we'll do our yellow for the last one because we don't have too much yellow going on yet. So we're going to do the tiny little one, the yellow, yellow okra. All right. And now our last little touch. It's a brand new color. We're going to do the center circle here. We're going to do it bim, bimney blue, bimney blue, bimney blue. And it's kind of like a turquoise -ish color, more on the blue hue though. We're going to get a large dotting tool. Let's see what, which one should we get? I think 18 will be good. Okay. And we're going to dot the center. Remember, get enough on your dotting tool. I like to add a splash of color like this because it reminds me of like the crown jewel, the one special thing in the center. And maybe throughout the outside, we will incorporate that same color. But it's one little nice little touch of flair. So let's turn this around. And there you have it. There is your stencil we finished. If you would like to see the additional part to this, I'm going to make a two part section to this one. So look for the video in the description for part two. Okay. Thanks for being with me. Let's do part two.